Many of us wonder why we can't just print money and all of us will become rich. We've all asked this question at some point in our lives. Why work so hard every day when there is a machine somewhere that just prints the money? In order to answer that question, let's go back in time. Most of you are aware that before the invention of money, barter was the method by which people can exchange goods for goods. Say, for example, you live on an island in a small village. You own a chicken that lays three eggs a day. You have a neighbor who is a fisherman. Across the street, there is another neighbor who has an apple tree. You could trade three eggs for one fish with your first neighbor or for a basket of apples with your second neighbor. Until recently, we actually acted this way. Now, imagine a scenario where suddenly a huge wave threw tens of thousands of fish to the shores. The islanders could just take whatever fish they wanted for free. Would you still be willing to exchange three eggs for one fish? Probably not. Would anyone in the village be willing to exchange something for fish? Don't think so. Since there is plenty of fish available, their value has decreased. You can simply pick up one for free if you want. As a result, instead of one fish, the poor fisherman must now replace perhaps a hundred fish with three eggs. Money works exactly the same way. Its value decreases when we print a lot of it. It's just going to be worth less. The fact that it was printed in large quantities does not change anything for you in real world. In other words, if $10 was enough for you to get egg, milk, and bread, and now you've got $50 but you can only buy egg, milk, and bread, then we did nothing with it. Almost immediately, all the companies of all the products will increase their prices, since the amount of money you give them in exchange for a car, for example, won't have the same value as before, and they themselves can buy fewer products with it. There will be a rise in the entire market and a decrease in the value of money. This is called inflation in professional terms, and this happens all the time around the world, yet in a very slow way, so that most of us don't even notice. As salaries rise, so do the whole market, food, clothing, restaurants, cars, apartments, and everything else you can think of. So right, you may have more money, but what's the difference if you can buy the same products as before for less? It doesn't really matter the amount of money you have, but what you can actually buy with it. Right now, you're probably thinking that maybe your money will be worth more in other countries. So, no, inflation affects conversion rates as well. In today's globalized marketplace, everything that happens in one country's economy affects the others. Several poor countries have done this in the past, such as Venezuela, which printed a lot of money for its citizens. Until the point where people were hungry and had no bread at home, yet the money was thrown on the ground since it was worthless. In addition, if they print money in large quantities, people will no longer want to go to work because they don't have to work hard to earn money. It will be accessible to everyone effortlessly. Another interesting fact, money is worthless indeed in reality. It is inedible, does not heal wounds, and does not keep us warm in winter. Try to give your dog $100 and a piece of chicken or treat. He will ignore the money and take the food that may be worth half a dollar. The only thing that makes money valuable and meaningful, and makes us want it, is our belief in it, is the collective imagination of all of us. It's important since we all agree that it's important. Basically, the entire economic system depends only on trust. The banknotes work only because we all trust them. Money is a social convention. Without the shared belief that it can be exchanged for products or services, money is worthless. The value of it will drop to zero overnight if people, stores, banks, etc. stop accepting it and move to Bitcoin. Hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and stay tuned.